In Michigan, Central Catholic continuing league play. Irish facing off against the number one team in Division Two in the state of Michigan. That's De La Salle. Irish, though, getting things going on offense. Isaiah Fox fighting Sherard Vaughn on the slant. That gets the Irish on the board. Still in the first quarter, De La Salle looking to punt. But you can't leave Victor Singleton wide open. He comes flying in for the block. Ball then flies toward the end zone. Singleton going to go corral it, picking up and strolling on in. What a play from him. Irish having their way the whole first half, really. Time winding down. Fox again going to loft it up. And there's Preston Frizel over the middle. He's going to outrun the defenders and connect for a 76-yard touchdown pass. Central Catholic goes on to get the big win, 41-6. Here's Chase Bachman with more from the Irish. Tyler, the latest AP poll in the state of Michigan had De La Salle as the number one team in the state of Michigan this week. So the prevailing thought was that this would be a tough matchup for Central Catholic, but it did not look that way at all. The Irish came out and had a dominant first half and rode that to an impressive 41 to 6 win. Uh, I mean, that's a huge win playing a team like this. You know, we were fortunate to have some things go our way in that first quarter. We took advantage of them. There were big plays led to us scoring a touchdown, uh, even even a fourth down play that ended up being a touchdown. And then when defense gets a stop uh, uh, right away, you know, and we block a punt and ends up getting returned for a touchdown. I mean, what a way to start a game against a team like this and get them on their heels. And, and we kept the pressure on all night. That's definitely one of our best starts of the year. Honestly, it's a great feeling. They were a great defense. They're a great team all together. But today we just came out on top and that's great planning, great execution by the offense. Just great all around. The Irish have a quick break from conference play next week, but they're taking on another state powerhouse, Cleveland's St. Ignatius. Reporting from Detroit, Chase Bachman, WTOL 11.